I am Anil Kumar and we will understand how to represent unequal denominator fractions on a number line. So let me begin by taking few examples. Let us say we have fractions 1 over 2, 1 over 4 and 3 over 4. And the question is to write these fractions or show these fractions on a number line. How can you do this part? Well, as you know, half, 1 over 4, 3 over 4, all of them are less than 1, right? So we know that if I want to represent them on a number line, let's say this is the number line for us, then we could always write these numbers in between 0 and 1, right? So, so if I begin with 0, then half, 1 over 4 and 3 over 4 will be somewhere in between 0 and 1. How to get their value? Approximately, let us say. Well, one way is that we should write all of them in same denominator. So they have different denominators. So same denominator could be 4, right? Since 4 is their lowest common multiple. 2 multiple is 4, right? So we can have, if I multiply both numerator and denominator of half by 2, I could write this half as uh, 2 over 4 and we already have 1 over 4 and 3 over 4. Now by doing so, we get equivalent fraction. These are called equivalent fraction, right? So we have equivalent fractions. So half 1 over 4 and 3 over 4 is same as 2 over 4, 1 over 4 and 3 over 4. Now since we have same denominator, we can actually divide 1 in 4 parts, right? So 4 equal parts. So that is half and that becomes half and half. So each part is, let us say, 1 fourth, right? Now it is easy. So 1 over 4, so this each part is 1 over 4. So that becomes 1 over 4 for us, that point. And then 2 out of 4 is this, 2 out of 4. Is that okay? And 3 out of 4 will be the third one. 3 out of 4. So, what we learn here is to represent fractions with unequal denominator on a number line, it is good practice to first write them as equivalent fractions with same denominator. We call them lowest common denominator, right? So, once their denominator is common, then we can divide the line into equivalent fractions and get the answer, correct? Now, let us do one more to practice in a similar fashion. Now, let us have, uh, let us say 1 over 3, 1 over 2, and uh, let us say we have uh, 5 over 6. Let us say these are the three fractions for us. They also have very different denominators. In this case, how can we represent them on a number line? That is the question for you. Well, first step is equivalent fractions. So we could write these as their lowest common denominator is 6, right? So multiplying these by 2, we get 2 over 6. Half could be written as multiply them by 3, so we get 3 over 6, and we have 5 over 6, right? So each fraction is multiple of 1 sixth. Do you see that? Now it is simpler. So now what we can do is we can draw a line, right? And on a line, we can begin by, let us say, 0, right? So always good to begin by 0. Since we want 6th, right? So let us say this is 1 6th, 2 6th, 3 6th, 4 6th, 5 6th, and 6 6th. So that means one unit for us, correct? So we can have equal parts, and this is 1 for us. Now each part is divided into 1 6th. So 2 over 6 will be this one. Do you see that? So we could write 2 over 6 here. So this is 2 over 6 for us. 3 over 6 will be 1, 2, 3. That is 3 over 6. So let me write this here, 3 over 6. And 5 over 6 will be 4 and 5. So that should be 5 over 6. You get an idea. So likewise, we can place all the numbers on a number line. Correct? So now I think 
you have understood how to represent fractions with unequal denominators on a number line right so that is how we do it now let me take a difficult question to work with let us say we have combination of these two so this time we'll take fraction 2 over 3 5 over 8 and let us say half and uh, okay just three of these now how will you represent them on a number line you can pause the video answer this question try to do it okay now here is my solution first step is we have to do we have to write equivalent fraction so first step is write equivalent fraction now this equivalent fraction should have same common denominator that means we need to find lowest common denominator so what is the lowest common denominator for 3 8 and 2 well multiples of 8 are 8 16 but 16 is not a multiple for 3 24 so 24 is the least common denominator that means I have to write all these fractions as denominator of 24 right so we need to write them as denominator of 24 correct how do you get 24 from 3 if you multiply this by 8 you get 24 multiply numerator also by 8 so 8 times 2 is 16 8 to 24 how do you get 24 from 8 multiply them by 3 so multiply both by 3 you get 15 over 24 how about half and 24 12 times 2 is 24 so 12 times 1 comes in the numerator so what you really get is 16 over 24 15 over 24 and 12 over 24 now since we have the same denominators we can actually represent them on a number line very easily let us see how so I'm making a long number line here we'll begin with a zero as we began earlier also but each division this time we will make of 1 over 24 so I'm saying this is 1 over 24 2 over 24 3 over 24 4 over 24 5 over 24 and 6 over 24 so I'm just making this as let us say 6 over 24 okay now so then we'll again count 6 we have 7 8 9 10 11 12 so I'm saying this is 12 over 24 so we are already halfway through right now we will say 13 14 15 16 17 18 right so let us say this is I'm just kind of squeeze them a bit since I have less space here so 18 over 24 and then we'll have a 19 20 21 22 23 24 let us say this is 24 over 24 24 over 24 as you know is number 1 right so from here 0 to 1 we have divided into 24 parts right so that is how it is now it is easy to place the fractions 16 over 24 will come where 2 less than 18 so this number here represents 16 over 24 correct 15 over 24 is 1 less than 16 correct so we can write this number here as 15 over 24 how about 12 over 24 there it is 12 over 24 correct so if you have three fractions with unequal denominators we can write them as equivalent fraction with same denominators which should be lowest common denominator then it is easy to find on a number line their place and relatively they should be placed as shown here right 12 over 24 is same as half we can write this as half right and 15 over 24 is same as 5 over 8 so this could be 5 over 8 and 16 over 24 is 2 over 3 right so I should write 2 over 3 correct so that is how you could do it right now here is a question for you you have to place these fractions on a number line so I'll give you a combination of what we did so we'll do 3 out of 4 right 
1 out of 2 and 2 out of 3, right? So let us say these are your three different fractions. They are with different denominators. So in this case, you have to make a number line and place them on the number line. Steps, let me revise. First step is write them with equivalent fractions, means fractions with same denominators. Then you can place them on a number line easily, right? So common denominator, you should find 4, 2 and 3. Lowest common multiple for these three numbers is 12, right? So make them 12 as common denominator then it will be easy for you to place them on a number line. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.